Hi everyone, welcome back to Amy's Kitchen. So I just walked in the house after dropping an enormous amount of money at Sam's Club. So there is no way in you know what I'm gonna go out to eat, heck no. So I just pulled out some cooked chicken out of the freezer, gonna roll up some um, chicken taquitos really quick. But while I was out, I kept getting messages and text messages saying, hey, I wanna make some rice for my barbecue. Can you please, please, please do a video on how you make your Mexican rice, cause we love it. So if you message me, this video is for you. I'm gonna throw my hair up, grab my rice and my tomato sauce, grab a pan. You guys grab a pen and paper and let's get started. Alright guys, so are you ready to make some rice? Super easy. Like, so easy you guys aren't even going to know what to do with yourself. So I went ahead, grabbed my pan. I'm just putting in my oil. This is just some canola oil, about a tablespoon. And today I'm just making a small batch. Um, so it's about one cup of rice. I don't measure, so um, I'm gonna give you guys the best measurements I can today. Go ahead and get your rice in there. This is just uh, regular long grain rice, nothing fancy. You can um, add onion in yours or green onion, it's up to you. If you want a little onion flavor, but you don't want onion, like to actually cut an onion and put it in there, you can go ahead and add some um, onion powder as well. Now there's many, many ways that you can make uh, Mexican rice. And trust me, everyone and their mother will tell you their recipe is the right way. I'm just showing you guys my simple, no stress, bulletproof, 100% on point, each time Mexican rice recipe. Best way I could describe it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let this brown. All right, I'm not sure if you can really tell on camera, but it's just starting to brown real nice. So I'm gonna start grabbing some water now if you're scared to death um, of making it mushy here's some um, basic rule of thumb to follow one cup of rice is two cups of water so i i don't measure i just know when it's right I did about three cups. Um, I may have had about a little over one cup of rice. And you add one can of just regular tomato sauce. Rinse your can out as well. I just get whatever's left in there. Get that all mixed. Shake up your secret weapon. And this is all you need, guys. No comino, no pepper, no nothing. I just put about a quarter cap full, which is just about two or three tablespoons. Um, another rule, if you're afraid to use bouillon, um, for every one cup of water, it's one teaspoon of bouillon. So you can um, use those measurements as well. So it's, it's super easy. There's really no, no way to mess it up. Well, yeah, there is. And let me show you how. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil, a rapid boil. Once it does, you place your lid on it. 
you turn it down to low and you do not touch it for about 15 minutes. At 15 minutes, you can check it. By checking it, I mean simply lift the lid, make sure there is no more liquid in there. Don't touch it with a spoon, a fork, nothing. If there's still liquid, place the lid back on tight and let it continue for another three or four minutes. Um, that is the key to having the perfect rice. Never disturb it once you have the lid on it and it's come to a boil. So you just have to have patience. So I'm gonna let it, let it come to, um, let it boil just a little more. Like I said, you want a good, good boil. All right, so it's doing its thing. It's boiling the way I want it. So now I'm gonna place an airtight lid on it, make sure that air is sealed. And we're gonna turn it down to low. You guys see that? It's on low. It's still doing its thing. I like to use a glass lid so I don't have to um, check it at all. I could just peek through. Sorry, my lid decided it wanted to move. Um, so that's what I use, but whatever pan you want to use, you also want to make sure that your rice has room to breathe. So if you're making it in a saucepan, um, it tends to be more mushy. So go ahead and grab um, like a fryer pan, I guess would be the best way to describe it. Or um, yeah, that, I guess that's the best, best way. Um, so again, it's so simple. Uh, you guys are probably gonna think while you're watching this, like there's no way that that rice is good, but I, trust me, you guys, just try it. Everyone and their mother will be asking you guys to make your rice or this rice every single day, I promise you. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it boil down, let all the liquid out, about 15 minutes. I'll come back to show you what a masterpiece looks like. See you guys back when it's done. All right, everyone, there you have it, perfection. Now you will have some that may um, go to one side a bit, but there's absolutely no liquid there. Um, sometimes the tomato sauce will get a little heavier as it's cooking. Um, I moved from my front burner to my back. That's how that happened. But there you guys have it. Nice, fluffy, and perfect. 15 minutes, and trust me, you guys are gonna be wowing your family. Let me grab a spoon. Actually, let me grab a fork. I wanted to grab a fork so I could show you guys. See, absolutely no liquid at the bottom. Just perfection, you see that? Not sticking, not burnt, it's not mushy, it's just perfect. So here you guys have it, a quick and easy, um, no fail Mexican rice recipe. Best way I could describe it. Don't forget to like, share, and follow me on Facebook. If there's something that you want me to make to show you guys how to make it, comment down below. Don't be embarrassed. Just comment, message. If you've got my number, text me. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good night.